All right, it's Thursday, August 31st, 2017. PAX West 2017 is tomorrow. It is D minus one. All right, this PAX is gonna be an extra special PAX. First of all, we haven't been to PAX since PAX East 2017. Always wear the shirt from the previous PAX to the next PAX. That was a long time ago already. It's the biggest gap between PAX is we got a whole summer of enjoying outside. Back to indoors and gaming when it's starting to get cold. It's not really cold yet, <laughs> but it's gonna be. Uh, also, our friend Ro, for the first time ever, somebody we know is in the Omegathon. Oh shit, we are gonna be going to every round. Always, we always go to the last round no matter what. We're going to every round, all the regular rounds, unless she gets eliminated, which hopefully will not happen. Uh, and also, I'm gonna be making video like this for the whole packs. Right? One video per day, right? starting with D minus one. So, let's go to Seattle. All right, so my flight was delayed. It was supposed to take off at 9.30. It's now taking off at noon. So I'm gonna get to Seattle at three instead of 12.30-ish. Uh, so, but at least I found out about that before I left the house. So now, you know, I didn't have to sit at the airport for a zillion hours, right? I was able to get a little bit more rest. Uh, play some games, right? And then I left the house. I was able to use the air train, uh, you know, because I had plenty of time, right? Because I woke up as <laughs> I woke up early, and then I found out about the delay. Um, you know, it kind of sucks that I'm missing some pre packs you know, three hours of pre packs action, but you know, uh, it's not the end of the world, and I'm still gonna make it to PAX on time. Uh, so I'm at the airport now, it's 10.30, uh, still, one day until PAX. Always, you know, wear the, the shirt of the previous PAX to the next PAX. So I got my PAX East 2017 shirt on. And even though I'm at the airport, I'm outside because it's the JetBlue Terminal 5 roof deck area. Uh, you know, since I still, I can stay out here for about, you know, 20, 30 more minutes before I have to go. Uh, yeah, behind me, you can see there's the the former TWA terminal. There's a documentary about it uh, that you can watch. It's really awesome, but they're um, uh, they're gonna turn into a hotel or something. So when they do that, I might stay there just to stay there. <laughs> there have been some opportunities to go in there, uh, like New York open house sort of events, but I haven't been able to go to any of them. Uh, and I really kind of want to go in there. Uh, what else is happening? I guess that's about it. Uh, we're gonna go experience the miracle of flight in a little while. Uh, and then we're gonna be in Seattle. Alright, we've now arrived in Seattle. Taking the light rail to get downtown. It's 4 o'clock Seattle time, so it's 7 o'clock New York time. Pretty good? Pretty good. You know, the plane was delayed by three hours, but you know what? Can't really complain about that. I could have been, uh, if I was born in an earlier time, I would have been being pulled there by a team of oxen. And they would have taken all year. I had to leave in the spring, yeah, died of dysentery on the way. I left New York and I got to Seattle in the same day. Pretty good. Riding the light rail now. Very nice. It's like three dollars. Takes me exactly where I want to go. Pax is very, very soon.
zero, negative one. I've been here for two days already. It's been two days of packs for me. It's not days of packs left. It's packs done though. It's pretty good. It doesn't count. Uh, so what do we do? Today we play Black Friday. Black Friday which was a game about the stock market crashing. That I could play Black Friday again. Scott won. You did win. <laughs> Because of your red pump and dump scheme at the end. That's right. I yeah. was the winner. And no, then I... uh, we played another game, Stickin. Stickin? Yeah. Stickeln. Stickum. Stickin. Which is a, I guess that is a German word that I don't know what it means. It was a, it means like to stick someone. With, but, with a knife. Or with anything pointy as far as I can tell. Yeah, uh, it was a trick taking game that was in German. But it also is a pun on the word trick. Yeah, and do you know who won that game? Uh, <laughs> yeah you did. Uh, well, uh, we interrupted the game early, and this is the true. important part of this we, video. We were supposed to play the game where everyone deals a hand, and we had five, six players. And we were gonna play three we hands. We were gonna play three hands, but we, we played two hands because... So, this usually is a concern at other conventions. Like, I haven't run into this in packs that often, but there was a moment when suddenly, a smell that was not a part appeared. That was poop. That was poop out of someone's butt. It smelled like either someone had pooped their pants, yep. or there was poop sitting around somewhere, or like you stepped in dog poo, but the dog poo no. was right next to your no, face. No, no, even that no dog poo smells like that. That was the bile of fresh diarrhea. I mean, and you I'm went pretty... in a nearby bathroom. There was yeah. a bathroom right next to us, and you said there was no smell. The thing there. is, even at the table, the bathroom, because it's behind a door, for the smell to be as powerful as it was by us, to have come from that bathroom would mean that that bathroom is the literal worst place. I'm confident Earth. that be, you know, technically in a building you usually line the bathrooms up vertically. A bathroom so upstairs. The, the sewage comes straight down, right? You don't have to have the pipes all over the yeah. place, right? You just put it right in a big column. I think there was some sort of leakage nearby in that area. It was so localized. The poop smell smelled like it was coming from the table we were sitting. But yet at. it was so strong. That, like, I just couldn't even sit there. But and as soon as we stood up and walked just a little bit away, the smell was good. And unlike a fart or anything, it persisted with a steady and constant quality. Mm -hmm. Alright, so that's the end of PAX Day Negative One. Tomorrow is PAX Day One One. 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 Go to the keynote? Yeah. I got no plans after that. We got some Omega Keynote. Omegathon keynote. Right, I gotta do some keynote. We gotta do some QA, maybe. I'll we, do got, the Q &A. we got some Omegathon rounds. For, for like three packs in a row, I always say, I'll stay at the QA until it gets boring, and it always ends before it gets boring. Right, and then I gotta buy my t shirt. I'm not buying, I'm done with the t shirts. I, I, got, I got all these, I got so many t shirts, how can I stop now? Yeah, I'm I, collector. I'm done. I'm not collecting t shirts. <laughs> I gotta uh, get, uh, I gotta collect my cookie tin that I bought online, no. but I ordered it for delivery at PAX West, so I gotta go pick it up. We only gotta do one panel, and like the panel's already good. That's on Sunday night. Yeah. And then we go play some games and make another video. Yeah. Tomorrow. All right. So this is the pre-packs. And now I'm gonna go edit this video and upload it tonight. And I'm just gonna lay in bed, and play Big Doug. Yeah. See if you can beat my score. Ninety-nine thousand. Yeah. Just I want to point out that my score that you beat that isn't that far below yours. I got that score in my third place since I bought the Switch. Uh huh. All right. Well, I just got mine on an airplane that was shaky. Uh, maybe that was helping. You got an unfair advantage. Uh huh. All right. <laughs> We're done.